Amala, His Holiness the Dalai Lama asked us to record your experiences so that we can share your memories with many generations of Tibetans, the Chinese, and the rest of the world. Your memories will help us to document the true history, culture, and beliefs of the Tibetan people. Do you give your permission for the Tibet Oral History Project to use this interview? Lonis. <laughs> Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. Thank you for offering to share your story with us. During this interview, if you wish to take a break or stop at any time, please let me know. If you do not wish to answer a question or talk about something, let me know. If this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? There may not be any problems. Okay. We are honored to record your story and appreciate your participation in this project. Amala, what area of Tibet were you born? What what section? Amala, Pugi, Sajo Kavalia Tungres. Chishu. It's in Chishu. Chishu. And how old are you, Amala? Amala, Tanda Kungu Kazuina. No, get Chishu. Eighty four. Eighty four. And, um, when when you were a child, who raised you uh, in Tibet? Um, so when I was very little, my parents were there, and uh, I grew up in Chushu, and we were farmers. Oh. How many children were in the family? There were uh, five, five children. Mm -hmm. And where were you in that order? One of the youngest. One of the youngest. Uh -huh. Amala, can you tell us uh, any memories of your childhood that you can recall? Amala, ta pugu chunju yimbe kabla kare kare chungyo di tanda chensu yuyo di de duele chiksungro na. Pugu chunju kote pamagi single chayyo di de ta ane pugu kabla ya di de ritwa isu pinja kiamu to to sing droga droya robo di de ta. So I have memories about my parents farming the lands and then going up to the mountains with my siblings looking for firewood. What kind of what kind of things did your family grow on the farm? What what kind of vegetables or plants? Uh, so they grew a uh, grains, a uh, peas, wheat, turnips, and uh, many different things. Uh -huh. Was there was there a uh, chukanga so there was uh, no problem with water 
irrigation, irrigating the fields because there was a, a river running by. A river running by. Uh, how many crops could you grow a year? So only one crop a year, mm -hmm. and uh, that was uh, sown towards the end of the third month okay. after the Tibetan New Year, mm -hmm. and the crops were standing in the fields for five to four to five months. Four to five months. Was there enough food for the family from your yes. farm? Yes, uh, you know, most of the time uh, we had enough uh, to eat from our farm and we also, you know, saved seeds for the next year uh, from this year's harvest. And in case uh, we didn't have enough to eat, you could go uh, uh, someplace where you could get loan, green loans. I see. Did you have to pay taxes to the monastery? Mm. So in our region, uh, there was no taxes paid to the monastery. However, you know, when you had uh, harvested the new crops uh, towards the end of the seventh month, then from this you made a tsampa and you voluntarily went and gave it to Sera Monastery. Uh -huh. And... Um, do you, what were some of the favorite uh, dishes that your mother prepared for the family? What did you like to eat when you were a little girl? So when I was little, you know, um, the food I liked was a meat and radish, mm. and uh, there wasn't much because we lived in a remote, uh, you know, village. But uh, there was plenty of butter and cheese since we raised animals and mm. we had a zoo, cow, and goats and sheep. So we had to pay a little, uh, you know, a labor tax, mm -hmm. a tax in the form of labor, when uh, certain aristocrats from the Tibetan government were traveling towards Tsang, yeah. then we had to go and uh, give him a labor service. Huh. Oh, I see, labor service, yeah. Okay. Was, Amala, was your family considered um, 
wealthy or middle class or poor? What, what, what place did you feel you were economically? so we were among the poor. Uh, the majority was uh, yeah, among the poor, and there were only two or three wealthy families. Oh, um, in your village area. The Amla Tongse Kongla Sumba. Lawan Tongse Kongla. Uh huh. Okay. Pugu labda chini tinde chasi yomarel tabo anisen mission. Uh huh. Yiku So um, there were no schools where children could go uh, to study except you know if they became monks or nuns mm -hmm. was there a monastery nearby that you could go to uh, not not close to our village but uh, a little away from chushu was a monastery called uh, changchupling changchupling so and two villages away from our place was another monastery called Jang You mentioned that uh, it, unless you were a monk or a nun and went to the monastery, you, you know you you couldn't learn to read. Mm -hmm. Did did many uh, young girls from your area choose to go uh, to the nunnery, or was it only boys that went to the monastery at uh, their parents' request? <laughs> There was a nunnery, a nunnery which was sort of a hermitage, uh -huh. and none from my uh, village joined there. But there were monks that, uh, boys that joined the monastery as monks. Yes. Um, was it, if a girl wanted to be join the nunnery, was that? Um, acceptable to her family or was that difficult for them to let her go? Uh, if a girl wanted to become a, a, a nun, uh, their parents wouldn't stop her. They would, they would welcome uh, uh, uh -huh. anyone becoming a monk or a nun. It was considered good. So, is there anything um, that you... When, when you were a young girl, you, did you help with the farming? Did you learn any other skills? When you were growing up, besides farming and and gathering firewood. Uh, so the skill that I, uh, I learned after I came to Lhasa was uh, 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 knitting uh, pullovers and uh, then uh, making ribbons and then uh, uh, stitching um, the Tibetan boots called somba. Oh. 
You know, before I uh, ask you more about that, I forgot to ask you about gathering the firewood. Was it easy for you uh, to find firewood to bring home in the mountains nearby? So when you went in search of wood, you had to climb up the mountain. Uh, so though there was plenty of wood, uh, when you came down, you had the load on your back. So it was difficult. Right. Did you take hatchets to chop the wood? How did you? Uh, and and were there many trees or very far apart? What was it like? Uh, there, there was a forest, and uh, and some of us used to be armed with the knives, uh -huh. and there were also dried branches that you could just pull down. And were there any animals in the forest? Uh, um, there were musk deers around, but uh, you know, in a uh, deeper forest, you could find like uh, uh, leopards, but not in where uh, we were searching for firewood. Uh -huh. Were you ever afraid of the animals? I have not uh, you know, encountered, but I was told that there were Tibetan brown bears around. Yeah. So I heard that uh, the Tibetan brown bears had very long hair hanging down, and when it wanted to, you know, catch a man, it, uh, you know, sort of uh, pushed his head back, and the hair fell backwards. And then it, and then it scratched. Mm -hmm. Ah, like that. Yeah. Scratched. It scratched the person. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 In the 1930s, there were there were animals and lots of uh, trees and firewood. Um, many years later, when you left Tibet in 1960, were the were the trees still there? Were the animals still there? Lunch. <laughs> Uh, so um, I heard later that the Chinese destroyed these, uh, but by then I was in India, 
And uh, mm -hmm. in our region, there were many, uh, um, you know, precious uh, um, metals, uh, metals, but these were not revealed for the fear that the Chinese would mine them. Ah, I see. When there were animals in the in the uh, mountains, were were your father and your brothers were they allowed to kill the animals like the musk deer or the leopards? Mm -hmm. Were they allowed to shoot them or kill them? Um, ตาดีกับเลยอ่ะตาชิงนาน่าเลยอ่ะลาวาตาทันตะซีดาตุนซุยอรวาแล้วอันนี้เอริกันเลยอ่ะแค่ดีกับเลยอ่ะถ้าพ
Ну, ты у тебя сделал. Yes, I wish to go to Olhasa to my older cousin's place. Was there something about going to Lhasa that appealed to you? So the place where I lived was a village and I had been on earlier visits to see my relatives and uh, Hasa being a big city, I thought it was enjoyable. Mm. Okay. So tell us what what was your life like when you got moved to Lhasa? What happened? Ani ta amla Lhasa la jor barwa. Lhasa. Lhasa la jodi ukane ani ya mizi kandi da wujik chungbay na. Lhasa la tanda lo khashe ta ya su su rangur chum hatim bota pinja sa tiyarwa. Ani tine ya ta su 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 tiyache ani lakshin de ta. So till I was able to fit for myself, I lived with my relative, and then there I learned uh, my skills. And the house um, I lived in wasn't my own, and we had to, uh, you know, um, pay rent. Mm-hmm. So you were about 10 when you went to live with your aunt. How long did you stay, I mean, with your cousin? How long did you stay with your cousin? And did she, was she teaching you skills while you were there? So it must have been six to seven or more than that because I stayed with her until I met uh, my husband. <laughs> So maybe uh, if it was, um, say, 10, you would have been 39 uh, when you left uh, home. And then uh, how old were you when you got married? I had my first child at age 22. Okay. Okay. Um, so my uh, my first child who was born when I was 22 is around 61 years old mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. so your first child was born if you were age 22 so it, it was in around 1951 your first child was born and did you did you uh, move in uh, with your husband and live in Lhasa? No. So my husband was uh, in the army and uh, until His Holiness the uh, Dalai Lama left for India, we were together there and uh, uh, 
then you know when his holiness left my husband was part of the um, security and he left but i got left behind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before we get to that part of the story could we talk about some of the of the uh, skills that you learned you said uh, you learned how to make things in Lhasa. What were some boots and what were some of the things you made? And I'm Lal Hasa Le Shupeka Vlayata, a Lakshe, Damenda Mangusuya, Jongdan Nang Yorwa, Chick Somba Che, and Shemba Kalashu. Give me a trail to a tough shoot in the letter. And you check it at Che to the gun. Somba Che, tough shoot Che, and Kishi Kishilichin. Uh, so the skills I learned were, uh, you know, making a ribbons for women, and then I learned to make boots and then knit uh, pullovers. And how did you make the ribbons? What was the material that you made them from, and where did you get this material? ตาตาเจ้าชูสุยาจิวรวาละอันเจ้าชูดิขาริกิสุบิยอระติอันขาริกิสุบิยอระติอันขาริกิสุบิยอระติอันขาริกิสุบิยอระติอันขาริกิส
So for the um, aristocrat uh, gentlemen, uh, the ribbons were very small and it was used for a single plait of hair. <laughs> so we also made a, a little um, tiny decoration ropes for the uh, threads for the earrings and also for the rosaries. Mm. So uh, from that material, we also made a dance for the apron oh, yeah. to tie yeah. to tie it up mm -hmm. like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Did Did you sell these yourself or take them to a store and they sold them for you? ไอ้นี่อําลาซื้อชาดิวกันเนี่ยรู้ว่าอําลาหนังสือเพิ่มนี่ดิซ้องยาเรียนจิซ้องกันจิละพาดเต้นซ้องกันพาดเต้ซ
Chale dinerwa chik ngu su su tangwa dinje ngu su tu ruela. Ta chiki reseño era botinda tu lo su era botinda ta ta su su dance dance mi shi shira pesha sa chiu chi dinde si ya mren kang bena la chik ya nyogrol. So um there wasn't a lot of money but there was enough for provisions and clothes and things you required in the house but there was no saving. No savings. Mm-hmm. And how did you meet your husband? Um Pala um, Pala so my husband was a soldier he was in the in his holiness's uh, security part of his holiness's security army and uh, he'd come to meet you know um some people that both of us knew, and then they talked, and we met. Ah, I see. You, you also said, Amala, that you learned how to make boots. And uh, can you tell us what, what kind of a boots you made, and what were they made of? Yako <laughs> When Mamma got on a purging job, Kuba Draman that's her neck a purging job. And you look dinga delay purging job, Goloma within the tan, Goloma and Javre. And deep hung up somebody's first house on and dig on my cajan and tumble. Near Jajok and Shayagi cup to say yes to one. Tinday ying to put in the soyer. จะจบกันแล้วครับเดี๋ยวอืมทีนี้เลงวนทีนี้สปริงจิตสุกสีก็ต้องกบเสกาสันเดชลอสมาทีนี้สวยสวยชิงเนี่ยเนี่ยอื
Bustiana Chirit in the Kerry, Simbu Kubat in the So the sole of the boot was made of leather, and the upper part where you push your foot, mm -hmm. foot inside that had the design of the Great Wall of China mm. stitched. Stitched with thread. Mm -hmm. was, the, was that a uh, important symbol for the Tibetan people? Yes, that was considered a good symbol, and this design was only stitched on those uh, uh, boot type of boots called tenim. Uh, tenyi, which means they have uh, two layers of leather soles mm -hmm. and not on those ordinary ones which only had one layer of leather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how did, did you make boots uh, and then sell them or did people come in and, and give you their foot size and you made them to, to, to fit that person? We sold them in bulk, uh, the boots to the buyers, uh -huh. and uh, you know if you could make um, make uh, make the boots, there was no worry about selling them because all the traders they bought, and we made them in different sizes, uh -huh. and there was no particular fittings that we took. I see. Uh -huh. How long would a pair of boots like that last a uh, person in ordinary, everyday use? Oh, they lasted well. Uh, if the leather sole got, uh, you know, wore out, then you could fit another, an extra leather sole, and then there were nails that would, uh, you know, glue them together. Oh, okay. Keep together. <laughs> So the um, buyers were not particularly the people of Lhasa, but traders that took them out of the took city. Took them out of the city. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's see, boots and... This is, you were married, you said, around 1951. So did any, when, when, did Lhasa seem the same in 51 and then in the years that followed, or were there any changes that happened in Lhasa? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Alhasa was the same until the Chinese attacked and uh, after they did you know they um, uh, planted saplings in the Pakor area and uh, usually in Lhasa, you know, traders from all over the world came. In Jiki Shungzop in the Yorwal, Tinde Pitugale, Yam Pershungi, Lingot in the Neneshu Neneshu Karicho was in the Konans in Nangor. So um, they were 
you know, people from the British government that came to Lhasa and the Tibetan government received them. Was that traders from all over the world came before the Chinese invaded Lhasa or after? They came before the Chinese appeared, and they used to be like shops where you could buy gold, you could buy silver. Tell us more about how Lhasa looked before the Chinese came to Lhasa. What other things? Uh, how was it different before the Chinese came? And then what what did it look like after? No. After uh, the Chinese uh, appeared in Lhasa, then it started to decline immediately. And, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, the um, people had to wake up in the morning, early morning, and at around 3 to 4 a.m., you had to stand in line in front of the Chinese shops to be able to buy wheat flour and uh, other provisions. And um, in a month, you know, our family was given only uh, a bottle full, like a beer bottle of oil. And uh, in the early days, uh, people used to come to sell different things in Lhasa, and now they no, no longer did. Mm -hmm. And except for the poor people, you know, people of Lhasa. And the people were not allowed to buy in all the shops that the Chinese had set up, but only in the shops that you were, you know, assigned to buy. What happened to the shops that the Tibetans owned? Any Pebe Tonga, you don't do any carriage in Amla. Pebe Tonga, that teaching Casa. There were many Tibetan shops and most of them they retained, but there were some aristocrats that sold their um shops to the Chinese and they were well treated by them. Mm. What happened to your business, to your uh, boot business, your ribbon business, what happened? Uh, then the Chinese uh, started uh, in factories, you know, a factory for the ta tailoring unit, there was a boot making unit, and uh, depending on what skill you knew, the Chinese, you know, gathered 15 to 20 people together and then they started these units. 
Tanto que la gente no se puede hacer, 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 no And uh, Chinese also taught uh, new skills like, uh, you know, uh, tailoring um, men's chupa, uh, which had its hands, uh, you know, uh, off if they felt hot. And then they also taught candle making. Did you go to any of these uh, uh, units yourself, Amala? Any Amala than the Gamigi Sodotsu Gyodunzunala Pevina? Uh, yes, I did for a few months uh, in the boot making uh, unit. And tell, can you tell us about yeah. that? What did it, what did it, where did they set up the unit and how many people were in it and did you get paid for your work? Any kunzugi soda di kawala suenamla. Sabu sabu kora sugre. That's so 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 dindel. Any um, me kazu siona lagachine. Lagachine mean the jujunga you join, you shouldn't you join, yeah. That's so lachine chine manual. This is the chicken. Lachine mango yunus or the chair yungural. Shimbo mango yun. Shimbo yun 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 any So they set up the units in uh, in every region and in each unit there would be 10 to 15 or 20 people depending on the number of number of people that uh, knew that skill, that particular skill. And uh, more skilled people would mean more people. And uh, we were paid a salary, but it was less than what we earned usually. Mm -hmm. Did you have a choice to go? Could you say, no, I want to keep my own business? Uh, or what, what would happen if you said no? Anita <laughs> Initially, yes, we had a choice, but later on, uh, and, you know, it was mandatory to join uh, one of the units, and also they held meetings. And during the meeting, you could not, you know, laugh or talk uh, because you could not even say that uh, you wanted to consult your husband, your family members. Each one was supposed to give his or her own opinion. Mm. How often did you have to go to the meetings, Amla, and how long were they? So, so the meetings were held very frequently and, and 
and uh, those in, during those meetings, uh, the servants had to oppose uh, their uh, employers. And if uh, someone, you know, was uh, doing work like you are doing, uh, you would be subjected to thamsing. And uh, they influenced your friends to, uh, call, you know, subject you to thamsing. And also, you know, if even if you were, uh, you know, in authority of the women's association here or one of the exile government staff or a member of the Tibetan Youth Congress or even one of the camp leaders would mean that you would be subjected to thumbsing and then it became worse. <laughs> Sayano <laughs> So, uh, say for example, I was uh, your maid and you gave me a free hand, you know, to cook and eat whatever I liked and I also received a payment, but the Chinese would influence me and tell me that uh, that the, my employers had not been fair with me, that I had been serving my employer like a serve. And any amount of my saying my employer was good and that she had given me food to eat, clothes to wear, a salary, uh, it wouldn't work. And they made every effort to the servant to oppose and you know, mm. subject her uh, employer to thumbsing. Did, were you ever um, made to uh, be involved in thamsing of, of somebody that you worked for, like your relative or anybody? Ni amlalaya ta chik susu ta aja yimba inari shemba sulaya chik kyangi thamsing tangur da stindi gami gi love you do. Ma love me nyol. Ta tu tu ngandu ta ka sori nyam ju nyam ju da jubo jubo tu tu la gu mare. ถ้าถ้าก็ถ้าก็ตัวสลบพอได้ว่าตินดิทําจิตตามจูบอ่ะจินดาตินดิตะกิโอบกีทะซุซุกีทันดาอ่าเลกะเจงเอเรียทําจ
so um in those days the older people used to say that uh, nothing good is going to come come about now and that uh, the chinese are uh, increasing increasing in number and then there were chinese restaurants then there were chinese hairdressers then there were chinese offices and they also brought goats and sheep from the villages for meat and then uh, they started to subject the lamas to thamzing and uh, there is a monastery called uh, Yudhi Monastery located at uh, Ramuche and these monks were brought into Lhasa and made to clean the toilets of Lhasa and they put the uh, soil uh, into uh, little cans and they had to transport these manure and we were not allowed to help them nor offer them even a cup of tea and I suppose some of those monks might have come into exile. Was was that before Lhasa was attacked? At the after. Month? That was after. Oh, and Kushota Tsuma Dinde La Sabjong Sende Shlamni Da Pablo Shoyak Tenda Lia Kantoni Konzo Sabjong Lavchuk Nyamdo Trava Anil Lama Anne Chik Karso Shugul Pablo Shok Tonga Tikantun Konzo Sugo at Yemi Pablo Shos Na Alla Trava Loba Ta Anni Loba Tinde Tantani Trava Yawata Anni Yawa Yorwa so the Chinese, they brought uh, monks and nuns together for propaganda lessons and that was one of their efforts, you know, to um, so that the monks and nuns, uh, you know, did not remain celibate and they lost their celibacy and uh, married. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, then uh, <clears throat> there were many stupas along the uh, route from uh, uh, Hasa to Sera Monastery and uh, before we had escaped they um, destroyed all the stupas and uh, when we wanted to take these uh, so, you know uh, the debris and throw them into the river uh, the uh, Chinese did not allow us to do that but they were instead poured into ditches. Mm. So during the attack, um, there were animal corpses and then there were human corpses and uh, they were not left there, but the Chinese brought in carts and then transported them away. And it used to be said that the corpses piled together seemed higher than a mountain, and then they were set on fire. Mm-hmm. And then it became worse and worse. Mm-hmm. And 
Jungle Machin, Jagal Zenjul Penny. Had to choose how go you came to go show Hagonan, Casacalia, the port in the Chani, Talelamotri Sajet in the Chile or the Tarit in the Chile lay or any chance of Pama Pinjat in the Dinachin Union, Pamale, two Male, Kaleka, which are why you need such a time, Jimmy Tool and Robotia was sent in the loss of Jagajur. And um, after His Holiness had uh, left for exile to India, uh, the, the Chinese realized, realized it only much later, and then they put up you know, boards around Lhasa with the news saying that His Holiness was in such and such a place. And then they also said, you know, that the people's uh, parents or relatives who had, um, you know, fled, that the Chinese would help uh, them bring, help the, uh, you know, people to bring their relatives back. And my dear, has in a several really, my dear, and half the cheese in the pinja in the combine to go to the gun. Nangal young, she go half the cheese, tell them to kick me, Rosin. My dear, do me say, Roll? Kig is so jarayon, didn't it? I should go to do on Combalia, Gusho, Gango, Gango, Sojin, come watching with the Nan Jew. Chapson said that the Toto Yorra, Toto Nan Tan Jew. Toto Snap. Gundube, Sergeta, she do go say, Toto Yorra, didn't they not go? Gusho, Gango, didn't they? Dinali, Togan, and Lechusha, that child and Jungumara. And Chapsanto City Tanjo. In Ju Chinju Chinju to the law, a legit to Gusha Tarma Repta, Lochinju to the Jimmy Legibson. To do down Robert in the Tachi, Ming Rajitan, Jajerji or Ming, and Mendelin Rajita, Lochum to get for a legib so much. So the route from Hassa to Sarah Monastery. Even after a week of the attack, you know, there were uh, so many corpses around and uh, the dogs were eating the corpse. And uh, <clears throat> in the monastery, the old monks uh, were, um, you know, assembled together and uh, they didn't have even uh, they didn't go to the toilet and had to use the monasteries and utensils as toilets. And uh, they also housed the little monks separately and to the middle-aged mother, you know, they gave them, a, <coughs> made them leaders, gave them Chinese uniform, and armed them with pistols. Amala, these were devastating scenes that you saw after the attack on Norbalinka. But can you please go back and tell us what led up to the people going to the Norbalinka to protect His Holiness. Can you tell us that story? And were you there? Tanda Amala Gita, Lamga Nalaya, Dindre, Hasa Nesera, Pedu Gane, Dindre, Mirotan, Dindre, Yorwa, Lassi, Yorwa, Tadunzu, Shanas, Havurite, Ta Yenerwa Amla, Tanda Nubulinka Laya, Gamigi, Ma Gavrua, Digi, Ngun Layata. Kangurumbichelia, <laughs> Police is near the lesser so soon around it, lesser around the world. Shandato to that, but parts of Robo John and Donet in there. Gusum did Jerry Sinkovachi Gunani, Gusum Tor. So the, uh, there were many, uh, you know, um, divisions in the uh, Tibetan army. Uh, there were the Tabji, there was the Dongda, and then there was the uh, police in Lhasa. Uh, and uh, also the Kusung Mangmi, which is the security guards uh, of His Holiness, uh, whose exclusive duty was to protect His Holiness. Mm -hmm. And what happened as uh, the situation developed in Lhasa? Let it 
Tara cheri to ya te da tichin ka sa ta sa mono chore tanda tangona mono chore tsaba ni ne tenji chene drebunge onje sinje chore tidi kana ta ma jegre se kusho tinde rembo chenji hore tiza la ya Chisong uh, so uh, people thought that an attack was imminent and in the first month of the Tibetan lunar month uh, the great prayer festival used to be held and uh, there was a very holy Rinpoche in the monastery uh, for whom people rushed to seek protective amulets because they were certain that the war was looming. And in Lhasa, people made preparations for war by digging wells. And in Lhasa, wherever you duck, you could find water. And then people who did not have um, toilets within their courtyard, people started digging toilets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lamutachimja, <laughs> So, uh, <clears throat> after uh, the uh, attack, the Chinese uh, arrested uh, this Lama because he was, uh, uh, you know, he had participated in the, uh, you know, offerings uh, which used to be held uh, after the Moenlam and. Um, uh, since he was not able to flee uh, flee to India or elsewhere, so the Chinese arrested him and then subjected him to Tamsing. Mm -hmm. And did, uh, you said after the attack, when the attack happened, Amala, where were you when the, when the bombs were falling on Norbalinka? ตัวนี้ตัวตรงว่าเจ๊ตัดเชนล่ะชุดจุงนี้เชล่ะอันนี้เจมี่มาเจมี่อันนี้เหมือนเจ้าเกเกกบตัวดังดังสตาร์เห
but when it fell on water uh, which was kept in uh, you know a cans uh, nothing happened mm -hmm. yes and uh, how did the were there people at the norbalinka when the shelling started and the norbalinka lay a gemi ta bomb shia go to the gane mimang the day yona norbalinka the yore kasa ming me to to ta kande ke kusho sende ne kunde bata norbalinka ta se photo la ta kanga tungja kusho din le tangore ming me kan nimbe the ne shira pes sing tungje so there were many soldiers at the Nobelinka as well as monks from the three great monasteries. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I had I had a, a monk relative in the monastery who came to borrow a coat that night because he said he was assigned uh, to uh, to guard the Potala Palace. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I got distracted. Did how did the people mm. know how to get there? Did I ask? No, you don't. Ani ah ta ta um. Mimang din de yore. La yore. And Mimala Nubulinga Nubulinga la Mimang don't the Pagela Nubulinga la Pep Gores and the Candice Hakoina. Nubulinga Hakoyeti Tanda Pamu Pamilan to Pamu Busan la Signature Wall. Tis Misha Kundilin Situkala Nobulinga Simcha to Nobulinga Mazina Kundilin de Diki de Chessimchat. A yal has a yore. The Chan Kondoki Takudas on the Tungelia Pedua. Pen any de Jacasa, Jamiga, Tassani, Selimbolia, Jawamijan, Susie, Dendish Wins, and Jamigi, Motor to Dendish Wins, Slum, Susie, then Pena, and a good art, Tragadigita, Gundi Pigruan, Dendishia, Jen, Jamia, and Yasan Dishun, and that me good art to turn to Susan, that Casa Rashes Machine, coming on to do church. Felia Timgangi Mebuni or Mebuni, the word Timbersido, Pel Mebun Labour. Can you kneel that Mimagi Tirata Tim Jenny? Tilitan the Onchimbuyore, and Diki Lagachinim Toso, and to the Dimba Kibatoa, and then Miman Yong Zolalta, Kip Home Mavanaki and Sany Jawar Machingi. Jamie Solomon Bull suited Dandish Wings, Jamie Motor Yone, Dandish Wayunger, and Jawar Machin Samna near Nanta near Pogota Sea, Mel Genma, Novelling Gondra, Chose Shiva, Sumba Shiva, and my job of cheese. And Jawar Machin Mogon and Dagres and Nan Dickian and Sany, Chose Sumba Shiva and Miss Hanga Chin and Rale Pony, you destroy you and Novelling Gondra Chin, Chova Kime, Mel Migachin. That chin. Jimmy Motor Yon Tomar. You might have jet a good ya tungi sorrel, tungi yards for the gunner. Only the chum the power last in the gay, citron jig. The cushion citron cigarette in the jib gone tungi litten. Quando Jimmy sober genius, sir. That tungi marts a turn and a good a cangayal has a low tedugan, a coral has a low tumsegan, sister, reconsum shall has a tumsegan. And lesson and did the tragedy get the poor up. And Jajako, the Mandalin do to a badge a key, make sure your courage of Shamuchikon, and nobling me man and Sagashione, short of chair. And Mima get particular to Tuntan said, Mima rang said, Miss, make me travel in the chair, your mother. Mima gave her member, give me to the Muja, Telepargan, and many children. And it sort of. Never somewhat watchel teacher, give that room, Jilly Ashella, drink the sun, pig or lesser, say it. Choosing you was some what did the chill say? And it caught the Jawar Machine with a jiggy drawing at a jig challenge a young in several. Tahakura and Nimitawa nobling and sound of mass and table or what? And the Konda de Tarasen, Konda Chutu. 
Shiba Shiba Chaka Sidindela, and could you say your dig rodilla, tap a jump, and a rejo, Sipango, as the senior rogan is your quality jump, nobling a tossing a condane, but the lesser omga, serolo, says your tip of the conjure ten and care, and I'm going to move in movie to shake your gay jagged, tell us you wish you were yon, lesser little two persons. Then you must with Mitchell Chuchia, your mother. Mi matam na gil la omkang omkang sen rolu se chore dili chite shawrwa ta se sarwa ro ro jeb se ro ta sarwa ta se mare ro jeb se yang kon tu ta ko je gure koran tu yang shandal ke tu gure an di kon da ta ga di ro ta se mi ti gela jemi ta ko simcha di chorin te pe sha te ni ro koran tu ke ne the Chamduki, Simcha, Chala, Kangal, Jamil, Lurin, on a cell kitchen. But part Jamizal Perry. Auntie Nan died. But the Gala died. Yahoo Yungo Marisa, Auntie Nima, Tinny Tine Pervets, yes, it's in diet and richly a cherishing that Jamita, me much in a hamogova. When it's angel chicken nam, which um roll. And then it's ended to Janani, Nima, the rich Nister, and the Kundaning it under Pamukusan Lago, Uti Chene, Pemeta, Junior Sended in the Kondushi or Aja Yanchela Sinia Chicche, and Ganisha, unless any get a chimuchore teacher. Hm, I am a senior Ajala teacher, Kondo to get me. Nah, talk to the Adinic, and good, me man, good in Anne, Tanganto, that young woman. Sanjul pen and pen now lay at a good little pajam, my own be conjured two less tin common sons in Nangora. On the Mimalia Tanganto, Gemiti Cajane, Magic, Chigres, Sanga Sansu, Chaga Drogo said, and Zubla Gan Sansu, Tunjuta, and my own and Nal Majim Che, and Lesser Pawanala, and Pergata would be me as Gemicum Tanya Materina, Dutch or my own sin, Gay Chimney, and Simcha Tonjo in the Nal, Jimmy Mangoto. Jami menda korang dengar se lapas simje tiga tu, bahawa cik pura cik ni an macin mana nobeling ke wanjal kaya kaji hari tu mati an cik simcha kundi ni an pahcin panjori tu pamari se hat susu ni hari an dia samsi tangga cik an kanda ya le tu kala cipu cah tu samsi yang se cipu cah an cile cipu cuma mati mesti an teri tu ni. So in uh, <coughs> Hassa, there was a very um, aristocrat family called Kundiling, and uh, uh, the lady of the house was known as Pamo Kunsala. And uh, since they were an aristocrat family and used to attend the assembly meetings, uh, they knew what was happening. And uh, <coughs> they, uh, you know, sounded the uh, judges. There were two judges called Mepun and Hassa who were very powerful about what was uh, going to happen. It was that the Chinese were inviting His Holiness the Dalai Lama uh, to their uh, army base. And uh, then uh, messages were given out into the people of Lhasa, and, uh, which said that every man, women, children must uh, you know, uh, come to the Novolinka to prevent His Holiness being uh, taken to uh, the Chinese base. And so uh, I too went there, and because there were so many people, uh, the Chinese vehicle was not able to come there. And um, there was a monk official uh, who was known as Sidong of the Chamdo Papala, who happened to be a Chinese spy. So in the morning, uh, he attended the assembly meeting with the other aristocrats, and then went back to his uh, residence and later he had changed his monk robes into a Chinese uniform mm -hmm. and he spotted a pair of glasses and was armed with a pistol and cycled into Nobulinka. Mm. And um, uh, the, people, uh, the people that had gathered around the Nobulinka 
killed him and it was the people and not soldiers or the monks mm -hmm. and even if one couldn't didn't have any uh, a, a thing to you know harm him and even if it was just a handful of dust it was thrown on him because this person had accepted to uh, kill his holiness uh, Dalai Lama it was between 2 or 3 p.m. that he was killed and that evening around 4 30 p.m. his corpse was tied with a rope and then dragged from the gate of the Nobulinka and given to the people who were responsible of taking away the dead bodies of Lhasa to the Lhasa Omkhang so we went behind that crying, spitting on the body and throwing dust. And uh, it was around 6 p.m. when we came back to Lhasa. And uh, that evening I heard that uh, uh, his belongings, the Chinese took away in a vehicle. And um, a day or two later, uh, without the knowledge of anybody, His Holiness had secretly left. And uh, this lady, uh, Kundaling Pamu Kunsala, and four other women who belonged to the aristocrat families, there was one called uh, Yang Chinla and another, a very famous nun who was called Anila, and they uh, sent out word to the people that uh, they were going to organize a prayer offering uh, for the. Um, you know, for the safety of His Holiness Dalai Lama. And so we held the prayer at the central cathedral, the Tsukla Kang. And after the prayers, instead of going back home, all the women, we went towards the uh, Pakur Square and then started shouting slogans against the Chinese. You know, Chinese go back, Tibet belongs to Tibetans. And, uh, uh, and then uh, we, it was said that uh, we would also hold the prayer uh, gathering another time, but that uh, didn't happen. So we could, uh, we had this prayer uh, offering only one time. Mm. And and the Chinese were, uh, you know, uh, looking out from the, uh, you know, uh, homes that they had purchased with their guns. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ในอําลาดีอ่าตันดาอ่าฮับซูตังยาดิเทมจิกมัชตังทูยูมุจิลิตันทูอะมะเอ็นนี่ขาดชุมอะดิอันทีเกตริเจตานะซานเจนนายิ
so by then then the Chinese had occupied completely and uh, I think I told you earlier about the uh, monks and nuns thrown together yeah, yeah and then uh, the monks of Yudhya uh, monastery being you know made to clean the toilets and the uh, thumbsing of Pamukusala Tangura so the how uh, a thamsing took place was it was held in a very large area where all the people were made to assemble mm -hmm. and then the Chinese placed a glass of water on the table I suppose that's for the uh, perpetrators to drink and then they asked the people uh, today's uh, um, today it's counter revolutionary pamo thamsin la pamo kunsan la who is who is going to be subjected to thamsing and the chinese person asks the people uh, should should she be you know subjected to thamsing and of course everybody raised their hands and had to say yes and then she was brought out and they sort of, you know, two or three people held her hands and held her behind the back and sort of pulled her out into the uh, place. And there she was pushed down, uh, made to bend her head. And when she did that, then they pulled her up, saying that she had to face the people. And then her earlier servants were made to subject her to the thumbsing. Mm. And among the people, if there were some that did not like her, they were asked to, 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 to mm -hmm. subject her to thamsing. Mm -hmm. ตาตันตาเพชรชงราชินเลจิบชิจงกังกายอรวลทินเดชะเลนานยะสินตาเพชรชงกุชะเลนานยะตาตาตบามิมาทองเซยินเนเรเลเซสะกุมิมายินเน
So when uh, the attack was going on uh, from my window, uh, which where I lived close to the park, or I could see uh, people on the street who were, you know, uh, struck by uh, shells oh. and with their uh, <clears throat> wounded and, you know, just uh, sh sh shuffling about. And if they had died, the Chinese wouldn't leave the corpse. They took it away because they were the ones who killed him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So uh, along with men, they were uh, on the streets, there were dogs, there were horses and mules that were struck. And these injured ones, uh, dead ones, they also carted away. Mm -hmm. Rather, <laughs> So so it, it, I had heard when I was much younger that there was a saying um, uh, by uh, someone called Gishi Sonam. He had, he had prophesied, it was a prophecy. He had said that the people of Tibet uh, wouldn't be able to stay in their houses, that they would have no time to eat their food, and even if they had clothes, uh, they would not have the chance to wear those clothes. And uh, the... Uh, uh, masters and degree uh, monks would be in the army and women would be the caretakers of the temples and the oceans would be filled with blood. So mm -hmm. it was a prophecy that was given many years back and we never realized it mm -hmm. until it really happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the people went to Norbalinka, was Amala, were you in that group that went? Yes, I did. Yes, I was. I went there when I told you that uh, the person was murdered, yeah. and then also when there was the incense offering done. Yes. I attended those. You attended those. No, no. Were there many people in both of those no. gatherings? Nobulingala <laughs> Yeah, so I was there on both the occasions and uh, in Nubul Inka, uh, <clears throat> when the killing took place, it was the men and women, but not the monks who participated in that. And uh, when the incense offering, uh, prayer offering took place, only women of Lhasa were there, mm -hmm. not the men. Mm -hmm. And it was the women that protested. Mm -hmm. 
So two days after this person was killed, His Holiness had left. So when uh, the person was killed, some of the papalas, uh, the um, monk official was killed. At that time, His Holiness was inside the Nobulinka. Mm -hmm. So a day or two after the uprising, this uprising happened, His Holiness left for exile. How did you feel when you heard he had left? So people, people said, you know, that we are so unfortunate and we'll never see a day of happiness again. So we prayed and made water offerings and other offerings in our homes, uh, praying that you know, nothing happens wherever His Holiness has gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what did, your, what did you decide to do and how long did you stay in Lhasa? ฉะนั้นเราก็จะเป็นจะนานในยอนี้มาเลยถ้าทันทีเอ่อนูบลิงกาลาดีชงแกงกุรุมจินชุดอเพบรวาลาเลยเอ็นอัมลาดีชุด
So um, <clears throat> these days, you know, people uh, talk as if there are only three monasteries in Lhasa, Sarah, Jebung, and Ganden, but there were many other monasteries, mm. five to six monasteries that I want to mention because people don't mention these monasteries at all. And there was the Tenge Ling Monastery, there was Ganden Ling Monastery, Shidi Tazang, Tsuna Ling, Tsume Ling Tazang, Smoro Tazang, Gyutu Tazang, and then there was a nunnery called Tsongu Nunnery. And in this nunnery, daughters from only the aristocrats and wealthy families could join. And uh, I have seen them turning the prayer wheels, and uh, uh, I thought they were singing at that time, but later I realized that they were uh, uh, chanting the prayers to the 21 Taras. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there were three palaces for His Holiness the Dalai Lama. There was one at the Nubulinka, there was the other at the Potala Palace, and then there was one in the central cathedral called the Tsubla Kang. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then a little away from Chushu, uh, there's another monastery called the Changjubling, and the monks of this monastery uh, participated in the great prayer festival, Monam, mm -hmm. and they also performed Cham. And since nowadays, you know, nobody mentions any of these monasteries, mm -hmm. uh, I wanted mm -hmm. to do so. And there were so many monks in those monasteries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for telling uh, us about these. Uh, uh, yes, 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 uh, uh, yes, 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 uh, we that would be interesting. We have heard about that, but I think what would be even more helpful if you could tell us why and how you decided to escape, and then we want you to describe some photographs that you brought for us. Okay. Any uh uh. This <laughs> So, uh, so I left uh, with a prayer 
that wherever His Holiness the Dalai Lama is, I should be able to reach there. Or if not, I wouldn't mind dying on the way. Mm. So in this way, I was able to come to Nepal. And then I went to a Dramsala, where when the uh, Tibetan Women's Association was first formed, I was uh, one of the workers there, uh, though not an official, because I do not know how to read and write. <laughs> The Tibetan Women's Association was initially formed uh, when uh, His Holiness's late older sister was alive and then another lady from the Simsha Kunsang. Amala, may I, would you uh, please explain some photographs that you brought to us? Okay. Okay. Amla, could you, this is a beautiful photograph, if you can hold it, okay, and maybe you can explain what this picture is. Amla and Dikavlia, Tungawanjin, Nambekavla, Sosoki, Kiakov Yore, Kariene, Sosoki, Tabayo Chia Yore, and then the Jungur Muching, the Tungawanjin, and Dugo Wangze, Chigi, Kiavot in the Chia, the Sosoki, Lung Valleta, Panzin and Etena Yorval, that in the Chene, Pikiava Sanguchene, Tungawanjit in the Chenambre. That is a jala to the poor Jamik on drink a savory mission chig. So when this picture was taken, we'd had our, uh, in our own, we lived in our own country, and at that time, with contributions from the people and everyone, a golden throne was constructed for His Holiness the Dalai Lama, and uh, from there His Holiness gave the Kala Chakra empowerment. And it was fortunate, those were fortunate days because His Holiness has all the fineries um, of a royal, and one could do as one wished, but now the Chinese have confiscated everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the venue for the Kala Chakra was the noble Inca. Link. Yeah. And what year? Ani di loka di nala inala. Ta longam di ngani chuye me. I do not know the year. Okay. 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 And uh, what do you think about the the shoes His Holiness is wearing? Ani thanda di kiamgu rumbu chengi hamgo chuyo di kanti dawish. Hmm. Shabja jajin se gwe. La. Jajin se shabja jajin je ando to koje re di nala to. So, uh -huh. um, so the uh, no. uh, shoes His Holiness is wearing, uh, they are known as the Jachin, and they are made of brocade. Uh -huh. And the white part you see are the white thread with which it's been stitched. Until <gasps> And the soles are made of leather. Mm. No. So you would you would know how to make shoes like this? And amla gi ani shabja pandes su kingi yuna. Anti singe mel. Di di ya shabja chemo si ya. Kundu ki nam soda karit sem ne ya shabja shabso chemo si loga yore. Tinde kanju manju che cho mare soto ne sem bu ke bu Sure. So I wouldn't know how to make that because His Holiness's uh, shoes and his clothes are stitched by uh, di by different people, oh. and even yeah. if I knew how to make one, I I wouldn't be allowed to. Nam so chimo, nam so chimo sire. Let's look at this. Picture. <laughs> Tell us about this picture. Deepa kubar di korla amla chik sumro na. Ati kala kashire. Ati kala shiye same 
so uh, that's the uh, picture of the Potala Palace, uh, wherein there is the uh, Namgyal Tatsang, and also uh, a part of, of the palace where the where His Holiness security officials live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it says under the picture of His Holiness, the quote is, "Let love, peace." And compassion be our religion. I would like to close by asking, what was it like for you to share your story with us? How, how did it seem to you? To do that. <laughs> Jaganumbala, <laughs> So I, I make this prayer that um, uh, His Holiness travels all around the world, you know, doing so much work. And uh, our brethren are living in hell in Tibet, though we are happy in, in India. And I pray that, you know, His Holiness is able to go back to the Potala Palace and that the Tibetans in Tibet be able to see and he hear his teachings. And I also pray that uh, may uh, those that sacrifice their lives by immolating themselves be reborn mm. to the better life. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story with us. Thank you. Okay. She <laughs> So um, the what I have told you today uh, yeah. contains no lies, and uh, it is what I heard or witnessed. And um, today, you know, we are very fortunate that His, His Holiness has arrived in our place. But you know, uh, deeming this uh, uh, project as important, I have you know left. Uh, you know, uh, going to Sarah Monastery to see His Holiness and have come here to tell my story. Mm -hmm. And then I pray that your work is successful and also that His Holiness can go back to Tibet. Oh. And uh, I have no problems with my livelihood, thanks to the grace of His Holiness. Uh, okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I'll just